I'm Eric Slack. I'm an NG champion and I co-organized the Angular Utah Meetup, um, to which I invite all of you, please come if you're, if you're interested, even if you're not from Utah. Um, right now it's online. So the next event is going to be November 24th or next Tuesday. And we'll have somebody who's giving a lightning talk here today, Michi, and also somebody from um, Narwhal speaking next, next time. So um, I wanna show you how easy it is for you guys to host your Angular applications on Firebase. It's free and it's super easy. I can fit it into a five minute lightning talk. I want you to think of this as a lightning workshop. All right, here we go. You better follow along because uh, you can do this. Firebase offers a lot of tools to help you online. And it help your online endeavors become a success. How all these things can work together is beyond the scope of this talk, but I want you to know that they exist. First of all, for this presentation, I will be focusing solely on the benefits of Firebase hosting and how to use it. These five things describe their hosting offering in a nutshell. Here are some of the advantages that Firebase hosting might have over other services that do hosting. The two I wanna highlight are regarding how Firebase and Angular are both made by Google. The other teams are separate. We've already heard during this conference that they, at, they do at times collaborate. One of the results of that collaboration is called Angular Fire, an Angular first Firebase SDK. As you know, that if you have an Angular application on, on Firebase, Google has already tested their changes on both Angular and Firebase before releasing either of them into the wild. This results in a combination of sibling technologies that simply meld perfectly together. A note on pricing is that for Firebase hosting, beyond the free level of usage, uh, Firebase hosting is free until you surpass their limit charges. Okay? Um, it makes it perfect for prototypes, portfolios, samples, um, any applications that you want to start out small and scale over time. Note that the free levels are, are, are factored into their paid levels. So you have to, even if you're on the paid plan, you won't pay a dime until you've actually increased above the thresholds. Um, one last note about pricing. By architecting your applications better, you will substantially reduce the cost of running. This is true, of course, of any applications, but using the live usage visualization charts Firebase gives you, you can see immediately the results that your efforts are having on that. <clears throat> In this diagram, I've outlined the four easy steps. Feel free to follow along with these steps as I go. Um, yeah. So the first step is to set up your Firebase project. So come with me to console.firebase.google.com or just firebase.google.com and click on the get started, sign up, sign in, and then click on the button that says create a project. In fact, I have a screenshot of that right here, create a project. So I'm going to create a project. Okay. And I'm gonna turn that off so it goes a little faster. Um, and while that's going, I'm going to continue with the presentation because I don't have that much time. Uh, the next step is going to be entering a name for your project then you get started by um, choosing one of these buttons. So on the next screen after this one finishes, oh, I've finished, so let's take a look. Okay, Lightning Talk, yo. You can add applications. We're gonna click Add Web. Lightning. I want to also add Firebase Hosting, register my app. And when that's done, it has this stuff, which is not going to be needed for the hosting part. That's for the SDK. Um, and we're gonna need to run this. I've already done that, so I'm gonna move on. Okay, these are the last two steps of, of this entire thing. First, NPM install Firebase tools. Then you're gonna run Firebase login, okay? Um, you're going to do this in the terminal. So we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna do Firebase login. And it's gonna say, oh, hey, you're already logged in. Sweet. Oh, now everybody knows my email address. Okay, so now we're gonna run Firebase init. So Firebase init. And it's like, oh, hey, you already did this. Are you sure you wanna do it again? Let's do it. And we're gonna pick func uh, not functions, hosting. All of these are super great tools. Enter, space to pick the one, and then enter to do it. 
All right, do you, what do you want to make your public directory? Well, it's gonna be dist slash, uh, uh, dist slash app slash uh, lightning or something. Um, I've already done that here. And what that's going to do for you, so I'm gonna go ahead and break out of that. It's going to create these two files, Firebase JSON, Firebase RC. And that's going to allow you to, it, it generates this for you, so you don't have to do the hard work of setting up the config. But you might have to edit these things later as you expand your app or maybe add more apps to it. So now I'm going to do Firebase deploy. I'm also cutting out some stuff from this talk because it is slightly too long. Eric, so, we don't see your console, your terminal. Oh, you don't? Oh, that's terrible. OK, well, I'm already over time. But what I wrote was Firebase deploy. And then it did it. So now I'm going to go to my console, which I you're not going to see that either. Well, it's deployed. <laughs> That's how easy it was to deploy your app. So can you guys see this? The the Firebase hosting yeah. page? Yeah. Oh, yes. see that. You're probably sharing an app, not a screen. So yeah. Okay. So anyway, in my Firebase hosting account, you can now go to it. It is there. Um, I'm going to move on. So next steps, you can add all of the other things that come with that ecosystem right away. One of the things that I wanted to mention to you guys um, from talking to people, talking to the companies who have set up, who are sponsors, uh, one of them is Oasis Digital. And Kyle over there told me that they use Angular and, and Scully with Firebase hosting, Firebase functions, and a lot of other Firebase tools to build that website where you go and you get that secret word for the conference. So they're using it for their enterprise purposes as well. Um, also, I wanted to touch on, you can have multiple sites under the same project in Firebase, and it's still free. You know, It still calculates things um, as if you had one, well, now you have two, so it calculates the how much space each one is taking. And the last thing I wanted to mention is that recently in the Firebase blog, this company called Flamelink has been published, and they are all about building a headless CMS for Firebase, and it works amazingly. I'm going to post the links into the chat, and that way you guys can check it out. Thank you so much. This has been a workshop with Eric Slack. You can find me at, at Eric underscore Slack, and... Hope to see you online.